Welcome to CFN 10. Today is the 52nd of Plopper the Pop Tover. The first news of today is about the EU. After an EU conference yesterday, the EU has decided to ban shoes. Yes, shoes. <clears throat> the EU cho has chosen to ban shoes, they said, because a research by Somalian scientists proved that when you wear shoes and walk over the street, when the friction happens between your shoes and the street, a gas is formed called... Portio Tites. <laughs> uh, this gas um, is very bad for the environment and also very bad for the human body. The EU said that if people don't wear shoes, the average lifespan of a human will not be 80, around 80 years, but 220 years. A lot of people think this is nonsense and are not willing to give up their hot Nikes. Um, but the EU has created a law which states that if a person is caught wearing shoes, he will get a prison sentence that can go from 20 years to a lifetime in prison. The EU wants people to walk around in their socks until a new type of shoe has been created. The second news article of today is about a hurricane. Meteorologists have found out that an amazingly big hurricane is forming itself in the middle of the ocean. Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Michael were just the beginning of this big hurricane. Now let's switch to our racing reporter Wesley who is outside where the hurricane is forming on the land. Wesley? 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 Yeah, hello? Wesley? Yeah, Wesley! Wesley! Hey, Wesley! Hello guys, I'm here. Because of this hurricane is unknown, but meteorologists have thought geographers and they have come to the conclusion it might have something to do with the Mid Atlantic Ridge. How exactly? Nobody knows. It's just a theory. The hurricane is staying on the ocean and it makes itself bigger and bigger. And it's expected to hit the American coast first. Not just Florida, but the entire coast of America. That's how big this hurricane is. It's, it's, all, it's expected to become so big it will hit about half of America and half of Europe at the same time. And they expect this to last for six weeks. The meteorologists expect the hurricane will destroy practically everything in its way. But if you reinforce your house, it will stand, said Richard Jalal a meteorologist investigating Hurricane Avocado. Hurricane Avocado also made it rain today, but these little rainfalls are nothing compared to what's coming. Periods of precipitation with up to 500 milliliters per hour. This might create floods. The meteorologists expect that the hurricane will destroy practically everything in its way. But if you reinforce your house, it will stand, said Richard Jalol a meteorologist investigating Hurricane Avocado. And there are even people preparing to get into bunkers in, or in a safe house. The Norwegian company Bunker Oil invested in these bunkers and provided enough food and drinks for six weeks, counting on 800 men, women and children per bunker. There are about 1200 bunkers around the country of America. In Europe, however, there are only 200 bunkers that can hold a thousand people for six weeks. But it's not a huge problem because avocado will not hit Europe as much as it will hit America. Now for the trivia question. From where did the Nazi ideologist Alfred Rosenberg think the Aryan race descended? A. Atlantis, the city that drowned. B. Basin City, the criminal... The, it's not that one. C. Cabot Coast, <laughs> the murder city. D. El Dorado, the city of gold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes, it 
Christmas Atlantis. Don't know where he got that from, but somehow he did. But back to business. Apple and Samsung are working together to create the first real underwater city. They call it Atlantis. So they're still working on the title. They will probably use it. As you can probably guess, it takes a lot of time to create a safe space down there. But according to the leaders of Project Atlantis, Jordan Morani and Katricia Clocker, they already made artificial gills to make sure you won't suffocate if you're down there. We don't want that, of course. They also made sure the pressure... They also made sure the pressure down there won't affect the or the city itself. But nobody knows exactly how they did it. They're already halfway there. They're halfway there. They are already halfway there. The costs are already 4.2 million US dollars. They expected. So, they are not by far finished, or they are actually doing a great job for as little money as possible. The underwater city will be able to hold about 250 persons. The underwater city will be able to hold about 200 to 250 persons, about 55 families of two children. But Apple and Samsung already made plans to expand the city when it's finished to hold even more families. But besides it being incredibly cool and beautiful, living down there costs 20,000 US dollars per month. So for some, this will only stay a dream, and for some, this will become reality. But added to those costs, down there, they have to buy food and clothing, so these costs will rise even more. And right down there is not for free. F 50,000 US dollars. 50,000? Per, per person. So. Oh my goodness! Who yeah. even wants to go down there? Whoa! That's a lot of money. <laughs> it will also be possible to visit the city when you're not living there. But it's not for persons with fear. Because you're right in the middle of sharks and whales. They can't harm you. Apple has created a device that detects sharks or whales when they come too close and will send out a horrible peep that will scare off the fish. If a whale or shark passes through the peep, the glass should be strong enough to hold the animals outside. But otherwise, there are airlocks almost everywhere in the city, so they will survive. They will even have three huge passenger submarines, which Samsung designed and ordered. But of course, there are downsides. If you want to know what the downsides are for you, or if you want to know more information, check out our website, www.cfm.fake/atlantis. All right, so now our fun fact. Ryan, get in here. Yeah. Today, a new invention has been released: the Toki Tato 8.001. The inf uh, it was invented by the South African John Smacker. It was invented by the South African Junko Smacker. He has been working on the on the device for 15 years. He said the device lets you talk to crabs. Yes, crabs. It translates brain waves from uh, the crabs to English, so you can uh, hear what they are thinking. Um, you might be thinking this device has no point. It's like no point at all, but it's a big step in <laughs> But it is a big step in technology in w uh, for uh, a future in, w in which we could talk to all species of animals. 